Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coder's Column. In today's video, I will explain you how you can change the theme of your Plotly dash dashboard. So without further delay, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a sample dashboard open. So this is the dashboard that I have created in one of my previous video. And the dashboard is created using a famous Wine dataset, which is available from a Python library scikit-learn. And the data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wines. So the dashboard has two charts currently. First is a scatter chart, which shows the relationship between two ingredients. So we can select various ingredients from here. And then we can color the points of the chart based on the wine type, which is a categorical variable. And second chart is a stack bar chart. It shows the average values of ingredient or wine type. So this is the multi-select and we can select various ingredients from this multi-select. So what I will do is that as you can see the default theme is light and I will try to change the theme of this dash dashboard from light to dark. And if you're interested in learning how I created this dashboard, then I will share the link in the top right corner as well as in the description as well. Now in order to change the theme of this dashboard, First of all, we need to install two Python libraries, which are dash bootstrap components, and you can use install it using pip install. And another library is a dash bootstrap templates. So once you have installed these libraries, we need to make minor change to our code in order to use themes available from these libraries. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the code for our dashboard. Now over here, I have two imports related to themes. So the first one is over here. So I have imported our library dash underscore bootstrap underscore components as a DBC. So this was the first library. And second is a dash underscore bootstrap underscore templates. From this, I have imported this function name load figure template. So these are the two imports which you need to make in order to change the theme. So after you have imported these two, you need to make only one minor change to change the theme. So whenever you are creating this uh, app of uh, dash over here, you have a parameter name external style sheets, external underscore style sheets, and you need to set it to list and it has one value, which is dbc dot teams dot cyborg. And this cyborg is a dark thing. So now I have uncommented this part. It, it was commented. So let me just save it and let me rerun our dashboard and show you how the changes looks. Let me refresh it. And yeah, as you can see, now the background is changed. The color of the font is changed, as you can see. And this uh, drop downs has changed. Widgets have changed, as you can see. So these changes are done. But if you notice, the charts haven't changed yet. So in order to change the charts, we need to make uh, one more minor change. So over here, as you can see, I have called this function load figure template, which we imported earlier. And that function we need to set template. So cyber template, which we used over here, that we need to set over here. So once I set it and save it, so this will change the charts as well. So as you can see, these are charts. Let me control shift and repress. And as you can see, the colors of the charts have changed. You can see if I change the background color and the default colors which were used by the original plot theme has changed. And as you can see, if I select different ingredients, as you can see, colors are different from previous time. Yeah, so this is the way which using which you can change the theme of your dashboard. Now, if you might notice that uh, though we have used a dark theme, the theme of the chart is still light and you might want to use dark theme with charts as well. So in order to do that, we can make one minor change. So over here, when I am creating this chart, so I'm creating this chart using Plotly Express, there is a parameter named template. And we can set that parameter to Plotly underscore dark string. And that way the charts will have a dark background. So I am creating two charts and for both of them, I will set this template to Plotly dark. Now I am creating charts using Plotly Express, but if you are created using uh, uh, graph objects, then you should set this template uh, parameter in update layout function. Yeah, so now that I have made these changes, let me just comment this part because we don't need to modify charts now. 
so now that i have made the changes let me control shift and refresh and yeah as you can see now the charts look quite better because both of them have a dark background so as you can see we have successfully changed the theme of our dashboard from light to dark right so now that we have changed the theme from light to dark let me show you different options available to change the theme so as you can see uh, for plotly bootstrap theme which we set in external style sheets so these are the some of the options available so we use cyborg there are cosmo and bootstrap and so on other options and the same way for plotly express these options are available plotly plotly white plotly dark ggplot2 seaborn and so on and let's say that uh, you want to see how your theme look like so you can copy this url and then you can open it in the browser and that way over here it will show you like how your theme will look like after you apply it so just a minute until this load so yeah so as you can see bootstrap will look like this how individual components will look like let me change it to cyborg which we used and as you can see the cyborg is a dark theme yeah so you can check various themes as well so that's it for today's tutorial if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more such videos and see you next time